All right, good morning, good morning, good morning. Hope everybody's having a good morning. Um, just want to give you this quick tip. This comes up quite a bit right now because obviously rates are very, very low. And in the near future, at least, they plan to stay low, okay? But this comes up. If somebody has, let's say somebody purchased less than 12 months ago and it was FHA, okay? So they, bu they bought a house and they had to go FHA. Now they want to refinance because when they bought, Let's say a year ago, rates were closer to the fours. Now they're in a, well, you know, like in the low twos right now. So having said that, we still have to go. If it's less than 12 months, okay, we cannot go off the appraised value, okay? Unless the appraised value from the appraisal comes in lower. So it's the lower of the two. So we have to go off the purchase price, uh, basically. So if somebody does not want to do a streamlined FHA type of a loan, okay, uh, and that's, that doesn't include appraisal sometimes and, and all that, you know, all the, all the other stuff, but they just want to do a refinance and go from FHA to FHA. We cannot, we cannot basically, uh, thanks Cindy, uh, basically go off the appraised value for that. Okay. We have to wait 12 months from, from the FHA case number. Okay. But here's, here's the real deal. Okay. A lot of times when we see people with FHA loan, my first thing that we want to do is get them out of FHA and get them into conventional. Okay. Even if you have less than 20% down, here's where the trick is, okay? There's multiple ways to do PMI. Now, with FHA, you have to have PMI basically for the life of the loan, okay? There's two PMIs, so to speak. There's an upfront mortgage insurance premium that gets rolled into the loan amount, and then there's a monthly that's on there for the life of the loan, okay? But if we can move them from FHA, okay, to conventional and restructure the MI, it helps them with cash flow tremendously. There's a lot of people that we, we are refinancing right now. Even if we're dropping the rate less than a point, but we're saving them a hundred, you know, to two hundred to three hundred dollars, you know, depending on the loan size, on that. So it's very, very, you know, critical to understand that when it comes to, you know, taking somebody who has an FHA loan, whether it's less than twelve months or or over twelve months. The rates on, on, on FHA a lot of times are going to be better than, than some, you know, some, somebody trying to get conventional, but it's still a better deal to go conventional. It's still a lot cheaper for them. It helps them with cash flow. Okay, So very important to understand that, that when you deal with conventional, there's many ways to, to do PMI. And by doing that, it really helps them you know, on a month-to-month -month basis. also helps them on the long term because then if, if somebody has the, the mandatory uh, PMI for FHA, that goes away, okay? There's no benefit to to the borrower, you know, going forward after a certain amount of time. So hopefully that makes sense. If you got any questions, comment down below. Shoot me a private message or text me at 423-262-9229. Uh, but you know, if you have a you know, if you have a FHA loan, okay, you definitely want to look into moving that to a conventional loan. And here here's one last point too. If you have around seven percent, okay, equity. Uh, you know, basically having you know seven percent equity, not twenty percent, not ten percent, but just seven ish, somewhere around there, we can take that MI and roll it into your loan amount, and just not have a monthly MI on conventional. That saves a ton of money. Trust me on that. I've run numbers, you know, to eighteen ways a Sunday, and you know that's something that we sit down with our clients and show them and, and show them, hey, if you stay here with FHA, what does this look like going forward? by switching it to uh, conventional. So hopefully that makes sense. You got any questions, just comment down below, shoot me a private message, um, or text me at 423-262-9229. Everybody have a great day. Hang in there. It's going to get better. Bye-bye.